what we're seeing our customers doing in the IoT space is really to make money using IoT, save money using IoT, or be compliant using IoT. Our job at Verizon is to really make it easy for customers to deploy IoT solution, to remove any of the friction that is associated with IoT solution. Now, there, we have done a few things to make that happen. Number one, we have certified an no, enormous amount of uh, devices to make sure customers are able to use a wide variety of devices that can get on the network. We've also been able to um, launch the latest and greatest technology when it comes to uh, connectivity. So for example, CAT M1 is gonna be deployed that gives you the better power management, gives you lower price point, and then uh, as you take the sensor data and move that over the network into the cloud, we have created the ThinkSpace platform. This is our IoT platform for you to ingest the sensor data and make that data actionable. And in addition, once you have deployed hundreds or thousands of devices or hundreds of thousands of devices, you're, we're able to manage those connectivity, being able to activate devices, deactivate devices, being able to um, look at how much data is being consumed by those devices, and then being able to uh, do firmware patch and, and do device management right from a single pane, uh, and that's I, uh, ThinkSpace platform. So besides developing this large ecosystem of technology and partners, one of the other things Verizon is doing is adding vertical solutions on top of our platform and our connectivity. So for example, we are deploying solutions in the smart uh, cities uh, area. So smart lighting, traffic management, smart parking solution. We're also going after certain verticals where we see a great need for IoT solutions. So for example, in the smart grid space, in the uh, utility space, uh, in smart agriculture, uh, ag tech is a great focus. We're seeing certain crops where smart agriculture and being able to monitor the irrigation and the humidity level and the weather, uh, incorporating the weather information into, um, into a particular farm, those high-end crops, we, we, we see value in that. Uh, there's also the share economy. You see more, more and more people are not just using the assets that they have, like vehicles, um, but being able to uh, share those assets. Um, and that's a new economy and we're, uh, we're enabling that. Last but not least, one of the uh, great area of focus for us is uh, fleet management telematics. Uh, and as uh, many of you guys know, we have acquired several companies, including Fleetmatic and Telogis, to really have a global presence when it comes to telematics and fleet management. So we launched the ThinkSpace platform roughly about uh, 18 months ago. And uh, one of our biggest focus with ThinkSpace Develop was to reach out to the developer community, make it easy for them to create their solution, to create that, to go from that ideation phase to a prototype phase. So we're making RESTful APIs, we're making dashboards available for them to ingest sensor data and making that sensor data actionable. We have over 15,000 developers currently and we are participating in a number of different hackathons and developer workshops and developer education to ensure that the intelligence and the creativity that the developers uh, bring to this market, we can make it easy for the developers to use the IoT uh, technology to take their idea and turn it into a prototype and then obviously uh, to full production. So for example, we were at South by Southwest a couple of weeks ago, right here in Austin. Uh, we, we made our APIs available and um, some of the uh, developers and hackers came up with some incredible ideas that typically we would not have thought of but being able to harness uh, these developer communities, we're able to bring those ideation into the fold of things space.